Season 5 is finally here and that means there is a bunch of new things that you guys are probably going to want to unlock as fast as possible. New weapons, new skins, all of that good stuff and in today's video I'm going to be helping you guys out and showing you the fastest way to level up your battle pass in each game mode. So we're going to be talking about Vanguard, Multiplayer first and then Zombies and then Warzone. So there will be timestamps if you want to skip forward to any specific part but without further ado let's get into it. Now every single new season I always do a giveaway for some COD points so you guys can get your hands on some new skins or the battle pass so if you are interested in a COD point giveaway subscribe notifications on and then comment down below saying that you want to enter and also drop a like. So the first thing I want to talk about is multiplayer and we're going to also be talking about the actual earn rate of the battle pass so in multiplayer 1000 XP is the equivalent to getting 1% of a tier and one minute played is also the equivalent of about 1% of a tier. So with that being said let's say for example you were in a game which lasted 10 minutes and you got 30,000 XP altogether that would be 40% of one tier. So the game modes you play in multiplayer are pretty important you want to obviously play game modes that last a quiet you know decent amount of time and you want to also play those game modes where you can get a bunch of extra xp apart from just kills so for example team deathmatch that is probably the worst option because the only xp you're going to be getting is from kills and team deathmatch doesn't really last that long either the best options that you can actually play are going to be things like kill confirmed and domination and if you can do this on ship house that is perfect because on kill confirmed domination etc you can obviously get a bunch of kills and you can also complete a lot of the objective which is going to be giving you bonus xp and they do last a pretty decent amount of time so you're also going to be getting some xp for just by you know the, the game lasting a good amount of time however team deathmatch like i said or free for all those are pretty short games and you just get kills there's no other xp to be earned if there's any small map playlists as well, such as Shipman or Das House, make sure to go ahead and play those because they are definitely going to get you the most amount of XP. Because obviously the smaller the map, the more XP you're just going to be getting because there's going to be more kills, more assists, more objectives and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to play those smaller maps because they are definitely going to be a lot better to get more XP a lot quicker. Now this next tip is honestly huge, it makes a massive difference and what you guys are going to want to do is use decoy grenades on your class. I've made a few videos about this in the past, if you guys are a subscriber to my channel then you probably would have seen me talk about this before. But decoy grenades on multiplayer are such a big, big tip when it comes to getting loads of XP, especially when you're on a small map playlist. You basically just want to use decoy grenades on your class and every single time you spawn you want to chuck the two decoy grenades into the middle of the map. This is going to get you a ton of assist points because basically whenever you throw the decoy grenades and your teammates get a kill you're going to be getting assist points for that. So whenever they get a kill you'll be getting XP for that. It's literally insane, it gets you so much XP, trust me, stick some decoy grenades on, chuck them in the middle of the map every single time you spawn, and you're going to be getting so much XP, it's crazy. The final tip I have for you guys is to also play hardcore. So hardcore is really, really good if you guys are good at it. I love hardcore because everyone is like one shot, and this means you can get an absolute ton of easy kills. So if you guys want to, hardcore is a great option. But I know a lot of you guys don't like hardcore. But if you do like it, make sure to play it because it's definitely good and it's a lot faster for XP. The next thing we're going to be talking about is zombies. And out of all of the options, I would definitely say zombies is the worst. So if you really want to focus on leveling up the battle pass, I wouldn't recommend playing zombies. However, if you do want to play zombies because it is a lot more chill, there's not a bunch of sweats you have to play against who are cracked out of their minds on G Fuel. You can obviously just play zombies and chill out a little bit. That's why I like to play zombies from time to time. It's just a lot more chill. Get a group of friends and just try and go as far as you possibly can. That is literally how you get XP on this game mode. So yeah, my biggest zombies tips when it comes to battle pass XP is literally just to get a good team and try and go as far as you possibly can. There's no secret tips on this game mode. There's no xp exploits or anything like that there's not really any glitches you can do either so honestly get a good team just go as far as you can and you'll definitely be getting a lot of xp 
The last thing we're going to be talking about is Warzone and there's a couple of very, very good options in Warzone that you can do. Now when it comes to Warzone, I would probably say that Warzone is going to be one of the fastest ways to level up your battle pass. One of the reasons for this is because the games last very, very long. Now, a normal multiplayer match is going to last you like 10 minutes maximum, but a match of Warzone can last you up to 20 minutes and that alone is going to get you a bunch of XP just for playing the game. If you remember from the beginning, every single one minute played is basically 1% of a tier and every single 1000 XP is also 1% of a tier and because Warzone matches are so long, it is a very very good option. Now the best thing to do when it comes to Warzone is to play Rebirth Island. This is going to be a lot faster than normal Caldera because Caldera is just such a big map. It's a very very slow paced game mode. However, Rebirth is a very quick paced game mode. You have unlimited spawns, so even if you die a bunch of times, you can just respawn and you can continue getting kills and continue getting XP. However, in Caldera, if you die, that's basically it. You need to be revived back from a teammate or you need to survive the Gulag. So yeah, on Rebirth, you pretty much get unlimited lives, so you're going to get more kills because you're going to be alive longer. So that's simply one of the main reasons Rebirth is just so much better than normal Warzone. If you guys really, really want to focus on leveling up that battle pass whilst playing Warzone, one of my biggest tips is to do as many contracts as you possibly can each game. Do as many bounties and supply runs and, you know, all of that good stuff. Just do as many of those as you can every single game because every single time you do these, you get a lot of XP and a lot of that XP is going to be going towards your battle pass. So I would strongly recommend doing as many contracts as you possibly can every single game. Also, the longer you last, the more XP you're going to be getting. So one of the biggest tips is to obviously play with a good team. The better your team, the longer you're going to last and the more games you're going to win. The more games you win and the longer you last, the more XP you're going to be getting. So make sure to play with a good team. And if you are looking for a good team to play with, I do have a Discord in the description with over 3,000 members in there. So you can find a couple of people on there to play with if you want to. The final tip I have when it comes to Warzone is to play Plunder. Plunder is a super underrated game mode when it comes to earning Battle Pass XP. So what you want to do in Plunder is obviously actually play the objective. If you play the objective and try and win, you're going to be getting a lot of XP. So basically in Plunder, the team with the most amount of cash at the end of the game wins the match. That is how it works. So what you guys are going to want to do is actually play the objective. Get a good team and try and win. Try and get as many kills as possible. Try and get as many contracts as possible and actually try and win a plunder match. If you win these plunder matches, you get a lot of XP. And the good thing about plunder as well is no matter how much you die, you're always going to survive until the very end of the game. And each game of plunder can last up to 30 minutes. So obviously, if you are playing a 30 minute game, you're going to be getting so much XP for your battle pass just for simply playing those 30 minutes. And you're also going to be getting so much XP for actually doing the objective. So literally in plunder, you can get upwards to like 80% of a tier and maybe even one tier per game if you are really good enough. That is it for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it did help. Subscribe for more and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.